So a new map is available in Splatoon 2 uh, right now, and that is Snapper Canal. And we're just going to go through a bit of gameplay and see what it's like. So we're going to hop into Recon right now and just test out the area. I have my Splash Shot Junior ready to hand, so let's just dive straight into it. Okay, so here we are in Snapper Canal, and as you can see, I'm just checking the background right now, just to see what it's like. So it's like a quarry construction site with a big bridge overhead and trains. Um, it's pretty open just at the start, just a couple of squares, at least down to the middle, pretty basic. But there is a huge river here, which obviously if you throw an ink into, it'll just dissolve. Nothing too special when it comes to this area. Um, so I'm presuming this is going to be one of the side areas, and if you just jump back here, yeah, you can see it's pretty much a quarry area on the outskirts of some um, living quarters. So, we're probably just going to make our way down. Check the other side. Is that ground? Is that? No. I presume... Yeah. If you fall off uh, into that bit, although it looks like it could be solid ground, it's a death pit. So, be careful of that. Um, obviously, this blue covered stuff isn't paintable, inkable. So, I guess this is the left hand side. And, oop, down there, you can actually see the enemy bases. Um, side. So this must be the middle area. Two big slopes. And, oh, the wall inclinable. Two big slopes that lead down to this like wooden tower in the middle, which you can see on the right hand side. Um, I'm kind of just going all over the place, trying to get a little look for it myself. Uh, oh. Oh, I, <laughs> there's actually ducks. In, in the river. That's strange because I thought this was supposed to be post apocalyptic, so it's strange to see ducks. Seems you can throw bombs over there, but obviously no turf. Right, so I guess this is going to ramp up to the enemy team's uh, turf. Okay, so there's a big jump over the river. So the river goes through the center of the map, so you have to be careful not to fall. The wooden block, of course, is going to be the center. And it's probably going to be good for spotlings, probably where the tower will be. Of course, the river will kill you because inklings can't swim. How long have we got? 46 seconds, right? So, yeah, just have a little look. It looks like some outskirts of the city. I guess we're going to head into uh, the tower control because there's tower control right now in Snapper C Canal. So, we're just going to have a little look at the, uh, the tower route. Oh, so we've actually got the inclines. Right, so there's two inclines. One at least the enemy turf, and one at least the tower, which replaced that big wooden block. Uh, interesting. So we'll go over here. Right, there's one of the checkpoints on the floor. And of course, ooh, the, the, it, it feels a bit extended, this. It feels like the walkway has been extended, so that there's less of to fall into. Right, so right here's the first checkpoint, and it's got a 10 second countdown. Well, actually, it ticks down uh, one number every 0 0.5 seconds, so it's actually a 5 second countdown. 15. So that must be about 7.5 seconds. And then we cross the river, so this is going to be good. If you have ink armor over here, you could actually be pushed into the river, so ink armor could actually work against you. And a four second countdown. I can see people jumping down from the ink rails trying to flank you, yeah. and then of course it finishes here. Just wonder if you can throw a bomb onto the train tracks. What do you know? You actually can. You know, I have an idea, maybe you could actually get up there using a certain special weapon. I have to experiment that later. But for now, we're just going to go into an actual battle. And it actually. Um, I'm quite excited for this. Um, so let's get in. Right, before we actually got into this map, uh, we actually had t two kelp, kelp dome battles. So we're finally here. And you can see there's Alice over there. Alice, were, Alice is from my team. A competitive team, so I'm just going to go slaughter her if that's okay with everybody. So I'm going to kind of start from the enemy turf just because it's great. And what did I say about slaughtering? <laughs> Poor Alice. 
But yeah, I'm just going to try and get as close into enemy turf. And I thought maybe I'll just hide on this wall. Uh, obviously, they'll probably go past me. Yeah, I don't know whether she actually saw me or not, or whether she kind of realized afterwards. Uh, I've got the roller as well. So I'm going to hide in this corner, see if we can try and sneak Alice again. Uh, just about. And then I tried to get these, but I only get one. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't finish off the roller. But my team seemed to be doing okay, getting the side areas. Uh, what have we got? Two rollers and a spider shot. So I may as well clear up this area. And I'll probably just... Tentabrella should be a pretty easy kill. If I could get my bomb placements right. Oh dear. Uh, oh. Um, what I tried to do was I, I tried to get her from behind, but obviously she must have saw me and then the Tentabrella is a one shot kill, so it, it must have been easy for her to get me, I guess. Right, so we meet up with Alice again, killed her, but I died to the splash down unfortunately. I, I don't really know which way this battle's gonna go, it could go any way at this stage. But three of them were down, so it's somewhat easier to take turf. Okay, so the spot not anymore. Spot shot was getting good, but a perfectly timed bomb. I'm meeting up with Alice again, see if she can get me this time. Yeah, just Alice was able to get me, just them. For once. Won't happen again. Oh she got two actually. They're starting to reclaim turf. I feel like we're actually going to lose this now. If I die again, it could be pretty much game over for us. Okay, there's okay, someone super jumping in. There we go. Got flow. So now it's just a battle. We've got to get all the turf now. It's like you can't waste bubble blower. We're probably going to have to waste time destroying these. Can't have these floating around the battlefield, of course. <clears throat> in karma what okay okay i don't know how i lost that i got three hits on her first but she she must have done got, got out of my range someone splashed down and ink storm right we're actually in danger in 10 seconds i don't think we can pull this back uh 10 seconds to pull ourselves out of danger and win the match not gonna happen splash up and that's game so we were in the last 10 seconds in danger, so it's incredibly unlikely that we won that, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh. Oh! <laughs> we actually won by 8%, and we actually was able to turn it around in 10 seconds. Alright, 11 kills, Alice got 2. Ah, poor Alice. Wow. So I'm going to have to cut the video there. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.